Hi, good morning. This is Nasser, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, a GoDaddy SSL certificate on your GoDaddy hosting. And the interesting part of this video is that uh, I have two GoDaddy accounts. Uh, I have purchased SSL certificate in one of the GoDaddy accounts, and uh, my hosting is on the other account. So I will be installing the SSL certificate on a domain which is hosted on the another. Uh, good ID account so this is uh, a situation that I have created just to make things uh, more clear so this will make your concept clear and you will understand how the SSL certificate work how it can be issued and uh, installed so uh, it's very interesting and uh, very simple uh, steps that I will be following uh, so once you watch this video fully you will be able to understand and you will be able to do the uh, SSL installation yourself now let me show you there are actually four steps that we need to do uh, in order to install the SSL certificate uh, the first step is to generate a CSR uh, certificate signing request for the domain uh, you are requesting the SSL certificate for uh, this is something required after you have purchased the SSL service uh, so SSL is a service that uh, different hosting companies or SSL cert certificate authority uh, SSL cer certificate provider uh, offer you so once you request for the service you will be asked to put in the certificate signing request uh, it's a method to uh, validate the ownership of the domain and uh, once you have uh, generated the CSR you have to put the CSR in the uh, box and then request for the certificate for the domain the CSR is issued for now once you have verified your domain ownership you will be uh, given you will be issued the SSL certificate so you have to download that SSL certificate from the certificate authority and then upload it to your hosting server where the website is actually hosted and then install the SSL certificate for the specific website or the domain it was issued to and then your s website will be secured and will show the SSL uh, sign a lock sign in the browser address bar and uh, can be accessed over HTTPS protocol so for this I have a domain here I'll show you uh, this is my domain and uh, it does not have any SSL certificate yet now if I try to access it over HTTPS connection uh, it will give me an error message because there is no valid SSL certificate it says uh, error certificate authority invalid and uh, I'll just go back and then uh, I'll show you this account this is my uh, one of the GoDaddy accounts uh, in this account uh, these are the services I have I do not have any hosting with this account uh, this is a domain a separate domain and then uh, I have an SSL issued for this uh, domain hogdivetk. Hogdivemedia.tk. So this is the SSL certificate that I purchased under this account. And then if I go to additional products, I do not have any product uh, uh, related to hosting services. So this account doesn't have any hosting services uh, from GoDaddy. Now I have another account here, and this one uh, is for hosting. This is where my website is hosted, and. Uh, this is the file manager and this is the uh, folder for this website hogdivemedia.tk and the uh, website is already working it's live now uh, I have to generate the certificate signing request first to request for the SSL so this is what I have to do I have already done that part uh, before you know uh, working on this video so I'll be showing you how to download that S certificate and install it but also I'm gonna give you an overview how the certificate signing request is generated and put in there now for generating the certificate signing request and to install the certificate or do anything related to the SSL certificate you have uh, to go to this section uh, called security under security this is the sec uh, option that you need to choose always SSL slash TLS so I click on it here and then uh, this is the second option here certificate signing request this is where you need to go and then request for the certificate now I have already re generated a CSR for this domain so it will show me that here on in this list 
but in case you are going to generate for your domain for the first time this is the option generate a new certificate signing request and then you have to leave the uh, 2048 bit key as it is uh, that's the key strength for the encryption now type in the name of the domain for which you want to request the SSL certificate for so the domain name for my website let's say if I'm going to request uh, uh, or purchase an SSL for a different domain so I have to generate a CSR for that domain first so I'll type the name of the domain here SSL services dot TK and then if you also want it to be issued for the www.sslservices.tk you need to put that another domain name or the another version of the domain in the second line okay so www.sslservices.tk all right now you need to put in the name of the city that is uh, required and then state and then uh, country and then put in the name of the company here in case you do not have any company you do not own a company and this is uh, for a personal website or a blog you need to type your name here okay you can just type your name all right and uh, once you're done here uh, put in your email address here where you would like to receive the uh, uh, certificate uh, validation or certificate ownership email now uh, this could be uh, any anything your email you know which email you want to use as a validation process uh, so let's say if this is the email I'll just put in it here and then I'll click uh, generate now this is the CSR I need to copy this CSR and uh, I'll show you where you have to paste it so this is the CSR the certificate signing request that you need to copy you can save it uh, in a text editor uh, like notepad or text editor on Mac computer Mac OS and uh, let's go back to the another account where you have your SSL certificate in case the SSL certificate uh, belongs to the same cPanel account uh, you will go to the product uh, uh, for SSL that you have purchased from your hosting company or the SSL service provider so uh, here's the product uh, SSL certificate right now if you look at the standard SSL it has a name of the domain associated with it so when you first purchase it it doesn't have a name because uh, it is like a blank uh, uh, you know SSL it's uh, a raw service you have to configure that uh, service for a domain that it should be issued for and I'll show you how it actually looks when you first uh, buy this SSL certificate okay so it shows like this it doesn't have a name if you look on at this picture it just have a, a standard SSL and then there is a button called setup so it it will ask you to set up the SSL certificate now if you click on the setup button you will be shown these options that the certificate is a one year standard SSL certificate and you need to identify the primary domain uh, you can choose the method to for identification either by inputting a CSR or choosing a domain uh, which already has been hosted on this account so in my case the domain was not hosted on the, the GoDaddy account so I have to choose input a CSR now once you click on that uh, radio button and click continue it will give you the option to paste your CSR here so this is the place where you need to paste the CSR the certificate signing request that you copied from in the last step and then click on the continue button after doing this okay so this is what you needed to do after you click continue uh, the GoDaddy will send you a verification email uh, to the same email address that we mentioned during the generation of certificate signing request uh, and you need to go to your email and there should be a link to verify the ownership of the domain or it may ask you to upload a small file an HTML file to the root directory of the domain so you in if that is the case you need to go to the file manager 
and then upload the file here okay uh, once you have uploaded the file and you clicked on the verify the ownership the link which is uh, given in the email sent by GoDaddy for the authentication of the domain you are all set and the certificate will be issued within a minute so once the certificate has been issued it will show exactly this way a standard SSL and the name of the domain it is issued for underneath it now from here what you have to do click on the manage button so now I'm going to install this SSL certificate on this domain so this is the uh, real step that you need to follow always now after clicking on the manage it will uh, give me the option to download the certificate file okay alright so this is the certificate that I have uh, already got issued now I'll click on the name of the domain here and then it gives me the option to download so I'll click download now when you click download it will ask you which type of uh, web server you have and you want the SSL for so most in most of the cases for cPanel it is Apache so click Apache and then click download zip file and then I'll save it uh, now I saved it in SSL GoDaddy folder and this is the zip file okay now this is the folder and this folder contains three certificate files uh, or files related to the SSL certificate uh, the first one is a bundle G2G1 CRT and the other one is uh, a random number with CRT so the that is the original SSL file this one here at the bottom uh, the random number with uh, ending in dot CRT uh, sometimes you may need to upload this one uh, the bundle certificate to some of the hosting companies but in case of this GoDaddy this is the file that we will be uploading so let's go back to the hosting server where the website is actually hosted and uh, we will be installing this certificate here now you have this option uh, generate view upload or delete SSL certificate uh, this is where you need to go uh, once you have the certificate uh, issued so I'll click on this link and uh, this is the option if you look upload a new certificate okay and then I will select choose file and choose this uh, random number with .crd file and click upload the certificate for the domain hogdivemedia.tk has been saved so I'll go back and now this time I will be going back to the last Okay, I'll click SSL TLS option and this is the option that I need to follow install and manage SSL for your site so I'll click manage SSL sites and if I see here I already have uh, a certificate issued but this is a if you if you see the certificate details it's actually self signed certificates I'll be uninstalling this one because this is why I'm getting that error message if I try to access the HTTPS version now I have to browse the certificate and I should have the certificate for the domain and now this time if you see this is the certificate hogdivemedia.tk and issuer is goodaddy.com inc so this is the certificate I'll be using I'll click use this certificate and then at the bottom install certificate now you have successfully configured SSL so we are all set to go the certificate has been installed I'll click OK 
and go back to the domain and uh, if I try to access the website over HTTPS protocol now it should give me the certificate and the secure lock sign so if you click on the lock sign you will see connection is secure and certificate is valid if I click on this certificate option it will give me the name of the certificate so it's showing said domain name here and issued by GoDaddy security certificate authority and uh, if I click on the details it will show me the date it is issued on and it is issued on Friday September the 27th 2019 so it looks like uh, we have got the SSL certificate configured and uh, I'm sure you la you understand the whole process in case you have any question or any doubt or the situation with you is really complex or you want to you know uh, change the domain the certificate was already issued to so let's say if you got the certificate issued for a domain abc.com now you have changed your mind you want this same certificate to be issued for or you want to use that certificate for another domain xyz.com uh, we, we can uh, configure that also I can do that for you if you want I can help you with any of the situation uh, there may be a small service charge or a minimal service cost for it you may contact me over Skype I'll show you my contact details here so you can either contact me on Skype uh, my Skype ID is live hog dive tech or the phone number is uh, seven eight six seven five three seven eight one one so that was all for today uh, friends I'll, I think you liked my video uh, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and follow the channel I will be posting s more interesting videos in my next upload uh, the next video could be uh, installing the GoDaddy SSL certificate on a cloud VPS in previous videos I have already shown you how to install free SSL from Let's Encrypt on Cloud VPS because GoDaddy doesn't offer this, uh, such options so uh, we had to purchase SSL we, we will have to purchase uh, SSL from GoDaddy and install it on our domain I know it's really costly uh, you may pay fifty dollars for the SSL from GoDaddy but this is issued for a year and uh, the Let's Encrypt SSL is all you know for lifetime but it is issued for three months at a time but it gets renewed however it gets renewed ev you know at the end of every third month so the certificate never expires so you know these are the situations just give me uh, you know send me a message in case you need any help and uh, with that I would like to sign off and thank you so much for watching this video see you again soon bye bye